Hello friends, welcome to CyberCAD Solutions. In this session, I would like to explain how to provide different options to the user while using our AutoList program. Let us see how to do that in VisualISP IDE. Today, we shall see two functions which work together. So the first one is in it get. This function is used to provide options and the other function is get k word. This function is used to read the user choice from the command prompt. So how to use these two different functions to provide different options to the user. Let us see. So the first one is like this init get and its syntax is you need to provide a message in which you will have different options. Let us say red green blue so here if you observe i have written capital r in the red capital z in the green and capital b in the blue why because user can simply enter r for red g for green b for blue and we need to load this statement first of all before we are going to use get keyword function so that when the get keyword function requests user to enter any choice then these options will be returned by the get keyword let us see how to do that one so get keyword here we need to write the message to be displayed to the user it is like this so backslash n which color you want to assign so here in a bracket I am going to write the same thing red green blue so those are the different options we are going to provide to the user. So how do we get these things? So I am going to load this first statement first of all init get. So this will do nothing but when you load the second statement, see I am loading this one. So it is asking which color you want to assign red, green, blue. Let us say I am entering small r. If you see at the console window you can see red has been returned by the program so like that let's load once again i am let me load the first statement first of all and then the second statement to read the user input this time i am entering small b and you can see blue has been returned by the program so now let us see how to use these different options in our program i am going to write a program to change the color of selected object so first of all we have a habit of writing the comment program to change color of selected object that's what we are going to write the program so define c colon change color cc and our program is like this first of all we need to select the object so after selecting we need to ask the user to provide his option set q e care of and cell this one we already know how to select the object and get its name so select the object to change color so once if we get this entity name then we are going to show different options to the user we need to write program first of all because we are going to write multiple statements so program if close and then the program close okay so here first of all we are showing the different options and then we are reading and storing it as say color choice cch i am giving color choice otherwise you can write it colch and store it into a variable which is entered by the user now i am going to do it like this command chprop to which entity e and press enter so hope you know how to use chprop command it will ask you to select the objects first of all so we are providing e which is the name we are selecting uh, which is the name of the selected object and pressing enter means double quotes means pressing enter then it will show you what do you want to change i am saying the color i want to change c option i am taking and then it will ask you which color do you want to which color you want to change 
so that is one whatever the color choice given by the user and then i am pressing enter to finish the command now let us check this program first of all i am going to click this one which will check the edit window and it it has done the checking and no errors and then again i am loading the window now our command is cc let us see how does it work okay shall we execute it from visualist console window so c colon cc within the brackets and press enter now you can see select the object to change color so i am selecting this circle now it is asking which color do you want which color you want to assign let us say i am giving g and it has come back means the program has been completed so let us go to autocad and see whether its color has been changed or not you can see its color has been changed to green color okay similarly let us try one more time the same cc command from autocad so i am going to autocad and typing cc at the command prompt and pressing enter now it is asking select the object to change color i am selecting the last circle and this time i am giving b so you can see its color has been changed to blue color okay then so let us go through the program once again first of all uh, let us localize the variable but uh, some people are asking uh, or some people are insisting me why are you not localizing the variables which is nothing but you put a back forward slash and write the variable names over here so that those variables will not exist in the memory after our program execution completes because if you select the e and load it its name is available now similarly color ch is also available why because we have not localized if you write if you put a forward slash and variables whichever you use through your program over here one by one then after the execution of the program those variables will be cleared from the memory so that we are taking care of the memory also it is our responsibility well come back to the program and cell will select the object and will return entity name along with the selected point in that we are selecting we are retrieving only entity name using cr function so that e will have entity name if that entity has been selected then we are providing three options to the user like red green blue as options and we are using get k word function to show a message which color you want to assign to the selected object okay in that we are showing red green blue so user has to enter any capital letter provided in this option so that we are showing the same kind of string over here also but with slashes so if user enters r g b whichever so that the relative color will be returned by the get k word and it will be stored in c o l c h variable the same we are using here the entity name e and the color c o l c h with c h prop command we are changing the color so friends like this we can provide different options to the user so sometimes if you press enter so nil will come let us see that one first of all so that the program will fail to enforce user to enter something we need to put in it get one it is a bit code which will enforce user not to press enter without typing anything okay so without this we will try first of all so go to autocad i am type cc and if you select any object but if you press enter without giving anything you can see there is an error in the program and you can see command cc unknown command so that has been uh, got into an error but if you put one in front of the init get that will enforce the user to enter any value so let us load this once again and then go to autocad and now type cc so select any object now it is asking something if you press enter no it is not going means it is insisting to enter something invalid option keyword it is saying you can see that one so you need to enter something otherwise sometimes unknowingly we may press enter so to ensure user is going to enter something then we can put that code one in front of the init get now if you enter anything its color will change so like that by providing one bit code in front of the init get we can enforce the user to enter something instead of providing a blank input at the command prompt this is how we provide different options to the user that's all friends hope you understood how to provide options to the user if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends
Thanks for watching and welcome to the next session.